Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Thank you so much for joining me today in my little blacksmith shop. Today, this video has two objectives. First, we are going to explore this beautiful castle and town on the northern end of the map in our little farm here. And then the second is we're going to go ahead and wrap up our gameplay of my little blacksmith shop, do a little review, talk some pros and cons, thoughts moving forward for this game, and hopefully get your guys' opinion as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and start by exploring this castle. Uh, to get to it, you head north from the blacksmith shop and you cross the bridge and you come up through this little uh, valley hill thing here and you pop out and we're right next to this farmhouse with the intricate wood designs. Appreciate that. And we got Rudolph over here and I think that's Donner or Blitzen or one of the reindeers over there as well. Um, so let's head into the castle proper. Love the little sigil there. We got our town guard here with his gilded armor. Do you have a family? Uh, I don't think I have a family friend, but thank you for asking. So into the little city that's in front of the castle. To the right, we've got the beautiful marketplace. The stalls are well designed. Uh, the, we looks like we got ourselves here the potion shop. We got some healing potions and mana potions, things like that. Getting ready to build a stall over here. And if you really need to steal some coal or some wood, that's... Uh, Pretty easy to steal if you need it. Over here on the next one, empty shop, kind of boring. Next one to that is the, I'm assuming like food provision shop. We got some cheese, pumpkins, wheat, corn, rice, apples, things like that. And then as a blacksmith, this is our favorite shop. Looks like this is the weapon shop. You can get your daggers and I'm assuming that's some sort of trident, uh, sword, axe. Can we open the chest? No, we cannot open the chest. So that's pretty sad. I've tried some of the doors. I don't think we can get in any of the doors. No, like that one's closed. Let's try this one here. That one's closed. Haven't been able to find a way into any of these little houses or buildings here in the city. Uh, so that's kind of disappointing. Uh, but let's go over this way and we'll talk to our friend in the red dress. And she says, I am freezing. Well, silly goose, with all the snow on the ground, go back into your house here and warm up. Ah, people these days. Let's go ahead and head over to the other side. So that's the gate we came in. And this is the gate into the inner uh, inner courtyard, we're gonna call it. So we're gonna head this way. Um, I've, again, tried to get into this building, can't. Uh, every so often, there they are. There's a bunch of like, children around the building. So I'm gonna call this like the school. There's another kid right there. So yeah, we're gonna call this the school or maybe the town hall. It's probably the town hall over the school. But again, different looking building, like it. Let's head this way now. Uh, just the pathway between the walls, the castle walls, and into the inner part of the courtyard or the city or whatever. We've got the training grounds here, and you can see there's some recruits running around. There he goes, uh, running around the courtyard or the little training field. Some more recruits out here. And then there's this guy here who doesn't have a name other than the investigator, but I'm going to call him Van Helsing. Kind of looks like Van Helsing to me. He's got the hat and the, the duster and the crossbow and the Bible and things like that, asking, you know, anything strange going on. You know, maybe if a story gets added, they can he can be part of the plot hook or something like that. This guy over here with the massive war hammer. I don't think he has a name either. Nope. Uh, keep your eyes open for rare items. Well, indeed we will, my friend. So that's the, the left half of this. Let's head over to the right half, which is kind of the barracks building. Appreciate the differentiation between the stone and the bricks when you get into the inner part of the castle. So let's go ahead and open this door and it swings out and nearly hits us. So on the left side, the armory, uh, with there's plenty of storage, and what's this guy saying? I hope to be guard captain someday. Uh, good for you, my friend, and what are you saying? Training is going well, fantastic. Uh, the dining area over here with our royal guard captain. I decorated this place, ha ha ha. And you can see on his sword, he's got some runes or something that are glowing. So that's pretty cool. I don't know if we're able to do that. Down in the comments, let me know if there's a way for us to get our swords to glow and have those markings on them. In the back part of the barracks, so that door swings out and nearly hits us. We got a lot of beds with our friend here. That's uh, The investigator is weird. I would agree. Uh, he does kind of stand out like a sore thumb. Uh, there's a lot of beds. Ooh, there's a chest. Not that we're going to be able to open this chest, but just for funsies, let's see. Oh, no, it does open. What is this? Is this a mining helmet? That looks like a mining helmet to me, guys. Let's go ahead and equip that. 
And there we go. Look at that light. We can shine it in and it looks like we lost our lantern. That's okay. Uh, turn it off. So there's the with it off and there's with it on. We can go shine it in this guy's eyes and torture him a little bit. So, all right, let's head back out. And we'll turn that helmet off. There we go. And let's go ahead and head into the main part of the castle. We're going to have to dodge some rocks as they spawn in. And who do we have here? Castle Guard. Easy there. I love the gold on the armor and the weapon. That's pretty neat there. Let's take a look at your shield. Yep, we got the embossment. That's pretty cool. Let's get a good 360 view of him. All right. Let's head into this main part of the inner castle, inner keep. Got some trees with snow on it. Fantastic. Some statues over there. Oop, looks like there's a door over here. Can we open it? No, we can't. What a shame. Uh, these statues kind of remind me a little bit of like the Polish uh, cavalry soldiers with those wings coming off their helmet. What's the... Um, I can't remember their exact name, so that's kind of what it reminds me of. Can we get into the main castle door? What are they saying? Don't make any sudden moves. No sudden moves. Okay, I'm just going to barge past you guys. And nope, can't get in that either. So that's uh, most of the castle. You know, I'd wish they kind of add some interiors uh, to it, especially some of those buildings out there. Maybe the town hall or the school. A couple of the homes would be pretty neat to explore. Maybe some more in here. Hopefully you can get into the main keep, the main part of the castle eventually. Let's just uh, let's shine a spotlight on these guys. Ooh, look at the, look at the glint off the, the weapons. That's pretty neat. Yeah, look at that right there, especially on the, the middle part of his helmet there. So we, oops, we just clicked on him. And what ha Did we get arrested for, I guess they don't like us touching them. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's, there goes our prison guard. Let's go ahead and pause the video for now. And um, I will see you guys back in this blacksmith shop to do the review. All right, guys, we are back. We have broken out of prison and made our way to Toothbud's blacksmith shop. Let's head on inside and we can go ahead and start reviewing the fantastic game that is My Little Blacksmith Shop. It's currently in early access and we are playing on version 0.1.2.35 as of this playing. Uh, it's been on Steam since January 16th, 2017, being developed and published by Noble Game Studios. And as far as I can tell, it's a one person show. So big shout out to them. Keep up the fantastic work. Steam description describes it as mine, gather, combine, and sell your wares to customers. Play at your pace. My description to my friends, if they're asking me, would be, you know, it's a crafting simulator that dabbles a little bit in research collection and maybe a little bit of exploration. While the crafting system is rather extensive for a game, uh, it can be unruly at times, uh, but with practice, it gets a little better. Uh, so the pros, like I said, and I got three of them, the extensive crafting system. And we made these beautiful swords, uh, you know, the two here, sticking out of the wall and sticking out of the shelf. And then the katana great sword that I uh, screwed up are just some examples of things you're able to make. Uh, the shields, we tried to make a shield, and there's, you know, part of it there. Uh, the pickaxe, did we make our pickaxe? Yeah, we made our pickaxe, and we pull that up here. Uh, so, you know, being able to make all these different tools and weapons and things like that. And not only just showing up and crafting them, but okay, Grab your copper ingot, you got to throw it on the furnace here, you got to turn your furnace on, let it heat up, put it on the anvil, strike, 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 cool it, and then if you want to sharpen it, great. Then you have to go back in here and assemble it, and you can either buy the grips and guards, or you can craft those yourself too. So again, a fantastic crafting system. The second thing I like about this game is the ability you're given to explore, to go mining, uh, things like that. You know, we spent some time down in the mine, and we found that closed off door. Uh, we did some exploring up by the church and obviously up by the city, which you guys saw today. Plenty to see and do on this map. There's those crystals, supposedly. I don't think we found any of them, but plenty of crystals to go out and find right now. The last pro I have for uh, my little blacksmith shop is uh, just the massive, 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 massive amounts of potential that are available for this game plenty to add both in the crafting system i think you could add lots of new weapons and lots of new tools to craft maybe some new ingots to go find or some ores to turn into ingots to go find things like that um the ability to add a story or a campaign i think is um something that i would be certainly interested in. not asking for a massive campaign you know 50 hour campaign and side quests and things like that just a 
three, four, five hour story. It doesn't have to be anything groundbreaking, you know, go make the sword for the king. That type of story. Uh, some things I don't care so much for the game, and let's uh, let's go over here and make sure our ingot's nice and heated. Um, I don't care for the font size in the crafting menu. Let me drop that there, and we'll pull up the crafting menu. This is really hard for me to read, and you know I don't have the greatest of eyesight, uh, but it's not the worst. So maybe increasing the size or the font style of the um, the the menu in the crafting system. In my mind, not that hard of a thing to fix, but I'm not a developer, so down in the comments below, let me know if it's really hard to fix, and maybe I'm just, you know, being too greedy. But you think it'd just be, you know, like a Microsoft Word where you click the drop down and change it from 10 to 20 or whatever, just to make it a little bigger, uh, to make it easier for us to read, especially when you're rushing. Like, okay, this thing's already starting to cool, um, and you know, if you can't find what you're looking for, then you gotta drag these off, put them back on, and especially if it's more than one ingot, you know, do that times three. Not the end of the world, not game breaking, but just, you know, a quality of life thing that could be improved. Second thing that's a little bit of a con, and this is probably more on my side than anything else, is just, it, sometimes it's a little clunky. You can see I had to really turn down my render distance. Some of these trees aren't even rendering in, um, just so I could record this video and not have to worry about the stuttering you guys have been talking about. Granted, I am on a potato of a computer. But still, it's not like these are groundbreaking graphics. Maybe some optimization or something on the software side might help. Not a game developer, not a software engineer. So again, if I'm being unruly, please, please, please let me know and I will certainly be more than willing to correct this. Uh, last thing, and we kind of talked about this in the massive potential section, is there's no story yet. And I love me a good story. Even like I said, if it's the king needs a sword to slay the dragon, give me a couple quests where I have to go Go do some mining down there and, you know, the ores I need is on the other side of the door. So then I have to go do another quest to, you know, maybe talk to the priest or preacher to get the key for the door. But he needs something from the city, so then I have to go to the city. And that person needs something. And, you know, four or five hours to get me hooked into the game. You can even wrap the tutorial into it. Because um, after a couple of hours of just crafting weapons, which is fun, um... I kind of lost interest. I think my game time on Steam is seven hours, eight hours, and granted, some of that, a lot of that was recording and re-recording and fiddling with uh, things to make sure it was recording the best that I could get the recording on. But you know, there's only a couple hours, in my opinion, of playtime in this game right now before, at least for me, it gets a little boring. Overall, I would say it's a good game. Would recommend purchasing if it's on sale. I think right now it's listed for fifteen or twenty dollars on Steam. Would recommend in its current state waiting for a sale for 10 or if they came in and added a bunch more content like a story, I think 15 to 20 would be appropriate. So if you've enjoyed this review, which hopefully you have, please, please, please don't forget to like the video. Comment on down below. Always looking for your thoughts and opinions on my little blacksmith shop. Also, since this is my one second review, uh, opinions on overall structure, what I'm talking about. Do you want the reviews longer? Do you want the reviews shorter? Do you want more information, less information? Anything like that would be greatly appreciated. Still looking for feedback on video quality, audio quality. As you guys can tell, I have bought a external microphone with a cover, so there shouldn't be as many pops as there used to be. Um, hopefully, like I said, upgrading my computer here in the next couple months, six months maybe around Christmas time, just to get something a little better. One, because I play a lot of computer games, and two, so I can do more re better recordings for you guys. That's the, the overall goal. So don't forget to subscribe to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming so you get all this great content on time and in an orderly fashion. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I'll see you in the next video.